Oh, what's that? Oh. Oh, what is it? Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> but it looks like a little cream jar. And if it is, does it have any writing on it? <gasps> yes. Oh my goodness, what on earth? <gasps> wow. That's so beautiful. I love it. Oh my goodness. Willie's found something exciting and he's come over to show us. you can probably tell the sound didn't work for this introduction so I'm having to do a voiceover but we were invited up to a fantastic location by Willie of Dirty Secrets of Scotland and we're going to see if we can find some treasures so come on let's go okay so there's loads of finds on the surface and this is my first not bad for a first find and it's a lovely knobbly clay pipe bowl and a bit of stem. don't think there's a maker's mark on there, but wonderful. Who doesn't love a clay pipe? See something hiding in the nettles down here? It's a tiny like toy pan, like enameled tin. It's beautiful in these woods, actually. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Well, I'm tempted to take that as well. Wow, some great fun so far. I've only been here a few minutes. Oh, oh, it's complete. And look, what is that? Just a little dog or a bird? A dog? I'm not sure, I think it might be a dog. I'm not, it's like a teapot lid or something. Oh, I love that. Look at the little doggy on top. It's either a dog or a cat or something. <gasps> love that. <laughs> oh, so there's, there's lots of things to find out here. Cool. Oh, look. Look at that. That's a boat ink. Yeah. <sighs> Just lying there, a little boat ink, a burst lip boat ink. And I don't think we've actually ever found a whole, a complete burst lip boat ink like that before. You can see these ridges on either side where they would have rest their pen. Oh, my hands are already full of stuff already. Okay, we'll make a little pile because I see some other things someone's left here there's a stopper from a foot warmer hot water bottle and we usually take them just in case we find a hot a whole hot water bottle that doesn't have its lid it's the base of something oh my goodness there's a whole teacup wow Kelso? Wow, we Kelso's in the borders where we've just come from. Yeah, we don't live too far away from Kelso. That's actually where we were the other day. We were just in Kelso the other day. What's that say? J Green's Nephew Limited, London, Kelso, and then a patent number. Oh, I love that. It's got a crack in it. Oh, wonderful. What else is there down here? It's broken. Oh, there's another... There's another foot warmer stopper. I'm trying to make it back to the bag with all my recent booty. But I have been stopped in my tracks by something I've spotted down here. Can you see it? Spot the find. Give you a second. Can you see it? It's one of our favourite finds. And there it is. Oh 
Oh my goodness, what on earth? <gasps> I don't know what to say about that. I love it so much. It's like, I don't know, someone with a moustache? Are they Japanese? I think it might be Japanese, but it's got this weird long neck. Look at that. I think it's a Japanese man. Okay, I have to correct myself, sorry. Um, this is actually not Japanese, it's Chinese, as Mum pointed out. Oh no, sorry about that. Huge pile within just a few minutes. Oh, what's Mum found? I just heard calling. What's mum found hidden behind that tree? Let's go and have a look. I've just come behind this tree and there's two foot warmers hidden, hidden away. But they can't hide from me. What have you got? Oh. The tree. oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Oh my goodness. Are they whole? I don't know. We've never found a whole hot water, like, foot warmer. I they think are. they are. Yes. yes. I think they are. <gasps> that is so cool. What do they say? Oh, it says notice heat this bottle before filling it with boiling water. Wow. Oh my goodness. Two. Two. We've never found one before. That's so cool. Our feet are going to be warm this winter. Yeah, we're then. going to have some toasty feet this winter. <laughs> hey, I think we should try it out. Yeah, shouldn't definitely. Because <laughs> I just found some stoppers over there. Oh, cool. And I've just found this lovely green bottle. Look at the colour of that. That's gorgeous. I love it. Oh, I found that, but it's makeup. Alex has found something. What is it? Oh yay, it's a little teacup. Oh, it's a tiny teacup. It's whole. <gasps> and the second whole teacup we found. A pounce pot. And a pounce pot. Just sitting here on top. How cool is this? This is this has like been the best time so far. Yeah, this yeah, is we've fantastic. Got a hot water <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Okay, I've got my trowel. Is it a whole bottle? Oh, it, yes it is whole. Wow, that's a big one. It says tablespoons. <laughs> that's the biggest tablespoons I've ever seen. What does this say? William Hill, Glasgow. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Okay, so I just ran back to my bag and I've come back here because I spot more stuff. Okay, so let's refind what I saw. Okay, just there. <laughs> oh, it's a little man on a horse and he's headless. <laughs> of course he's headless. A horse is not headless. And I see something down here as well. What's this? You see it there? It's a doll. Oh, it's like it's a, like a Cupid doll. She's missing her arms and legs. But the head's there. Oh, it's quite cute. It's smiling. You never find dolls that are smiling. Oh, that's so cute. A little glass thing here. Oh, it looks like a lid. Oh wait, it probably was. It looks like it's had cork stuck on the inside there. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I like that. 
And we found these before, and they're the sort of bone discs with a hole in the middle. Oops. It could be the end of a cotton reel, a bone cotton reel, or it could be for something else. It could be actually the inside um, of a, a button it would have been covered in fabric. Um, used as a large coat button, so that's another um, possibility. Yeah, fantastic. This looks like it could be another bone disc. I think it is. Another button, button centre, whatever you call them. Hmm, interesting. This is a little tin dish. And I am going to take that. I love it. I just spotted another find down here. Looks like a glazed... It is. It's a glazed marble. So it's a playing marble. A little clay marble. <laughs> oh, that looks like a piece of doll's head. And it is. <laughs> and it's an ear. <gasps> Whoops. There you go, a live find, a doll's lug. And another marble down here, but this one looks very much like our good old friend, the cod marble. There we go, first cod marble of the day. A stone pot and it's whole. It's whole, I'm taking it. Not sure what this is, but it reminds me of strange steampunk glasses, so I'm taking it. Okay, so Willie has dug this hole, and he's really good at doing that. I don't think I could dig one that deep. And he's found some really interesting things. So what's this that you found? This is called lay for the skin and complexion, and mm. I reckon it's probably 1920s or 30s. Fantastic. Love them with writing on. Look at that crazy lip there. Oh yeah, that's it's weird. Really wonky. And a bone toothbrush. Bone toothbrush. I'll yeah. zoom in on that. That is massive, isn't it? Yep. I wouldn't want to brush my teeth with that. No. But fantastic. Great yeah. finds. Oh, thank you. Keep going. See what else yeah. I can find. See what else you can find. Cool. It's another little tin, um, tin dish. Lovely. Okay, so it looks like an, some kind of odd brass thing here. Let's have a look. Oh. Oh, I don't know. Quite a chunky piece of brass, and I have no idea what it's from. <laughs> I think I'll take it anyway. Oh, I've definitely found a piece of jewellery down here. Look! Oh my goodness! It's agate! I can feel it! I can see it as well! Wow! Maybe part of jewellery or something, like an earring? Oh wow, that's, you know, that, that's probably Scottish agate as well. Look how beautiful. It's like a bit of brass there and a hole there. It's like, I'm not sure, maybe it was, it was a brooch. I think it was a brooch. Oh, that's so beautiful. Wow, I wonder if we can find, uh, find? I wonder if we can use that as a part of our own jewellery. Give it a new lease of life. Beautiful. I found something unusual down here and I thought I'd bring you with me to see what it is and it looks like a toothbrush but of the strangest toothbrush I've ever seen. Oh. Look at the size of the head. And it's it's made of bone, it's really chunky. I've not found a toothbrush like that before, that's really weird. I also found something else down here. And it looks like a teeny 
tiny bottle. It's blue. It might just be a part of a light bulb. But that's what it looks like. It looks like a tiny bottle. It'd make a good doll's house decoration. I bought a, a bottle stop down here, but it's a bit different to the ones we usually find. Look at that, it's mini. It's like a mini jar stopper. Oh yeah. And it's got, it's embossed with something. Can't see. Is it a Kilmer? No. No, it's that say P prepared by something I can't read it right now but that's an interesting little stopper I, lo I love that and it's a beautiful color too okay we're gonna go and look at a treasure trove now apparently four of these now. Might fit those hot water bottles that we found. What's this? Oh. I think it's a little dish. And it's whole. I thought it was a cup, but there's nowhere the handle's broken off, so... Yeah, it's a little dish. A little doll's dish. Love it. There's a poison bottle sticking out here. Is it whole? Oh, there's some resistance there. Oh, oh my goodness, yes! It is! And it says not to be taken, and it's tiny. I love it. Fantastic. Yay! Alex has found the most amazing bead. I didn't even realise it was a bead. Look, Look at, at that. It. It's, it's red, the most beautiful red. Wow. It's got a hole all the way through and it's fasted on each end. Wow. How amazing is that? It must have sort of dangled off some ornament or something. Yeah, maybe off like a, a lamp or something, yeah, like a lampshade or something. Yeah. That's beautiful. That's fantastic. I love that. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> There's a bottle here, a stoneware bottle sticking out. Oh yeah, lots of resistance. Is it whole? Let's see. It's coming out, it's coming out. Oh, it's quite long. Oh, <gasps> yes, it is whole. It's got a four on it and I like it. Oh, is it one of those German uh, mineral bottles? Mineral water oh, bottles. I love that. It's like a German version of a. Yeah, yeah. It's a mineral water. Wow. That's so beautiful. I love it. Oh my goodness. Look at that. <gasps> I love that. It's like a four and it's like an anchor yeah, as well. Yeah. That's beautiful. Wow, <laughs> I love that. That was a very satisfying extraction. That was, ex oh, I love that so much. I really do. I love stoneware. Okay, there's something down here. I thought it was a bit of plastic. I already picked it up, but I dropped it again because I was so excited. It looked like a bit of plastic disc, but when I turned it over, look. It's an amazing big morning button. Look at that. Whoa! That's fantastic. Is it a button or is it it's like it could be even be off? I don't know. Like maybe a big coat button. Yeah. Not 
I'm not, not sure how not, it... it might not necessarily be a mourning button, just like a big... It wouldn't be a hat pin. Black like that, coat button or not something. Sure. Wow, that's the biggest <sighs> button we've ever found. That's fantastic. That should clean up really nice. Yeah, that's so cool. It's a whole lid of a casserole dish. Wow. <laughs> how on earth did that manage to survive the dump? Don't know. It's huge. What would we do with it though? I don't know, that's the thing. We'll leave it for so, someone else. Yeah, I yeah. think we'll leave it behind. But it's incredible that it survived. Yeah, it is. Oh. Willie's found something exciting yeah. and he's come over to show us. Oh, Two local bottles. Oh, oh wow. wow. This one's got oh, my hometown on it here. Beautiful. Kirkcaldy. Blob top. Blob oh, top. Blob top. Fantastic. And it's got a little uh, applied lip there. Oh, that's wow. beautiful. Let me let me zoom in on that one. What's it got on it? It's got so many so many words, it's brilliant. Yeah. It's that actually a pictorial, but the pictorial isn't beautiful. amazing. Beautiful. I love the blob top. Yeah, me too. Fantastic. And, and what's the other one? This is St Andrews and Cooper, which is a... Uh, oh, that's so cute and it's a beautiful colour. Yes. Yeah, it's a gorgeous green colour. No, look at that in the light. Beautiful. That is so beautiful. I'll zoom on that. And I said on my one as well, it's got a W in the bottom. I think it was made for oh. me. Oh, it was yeah. made for you. Yeah, definitely <laughs> made for you. I've been waiting for you all these years. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Chuffed. Oh, congratulations. congratulations. Cheers. There Alex is. found a little figure and she's just found the head, I think. Look, there he is. He fits <sighs> just like that. It's, <sighs> a, it's a little Native American. Yeah, look at that. We've on a horse. one of those. Yeah, look at him Where's with his headdress. The other part. I know. Maybe the rest of him is down here somewhere. Yeah, probably is. Can you spot this tiny little find? Wait, I want to spot it. Oh, he wants to spot oh, it. Oh, I see it. I see it. Here we go. Look at that. It's tiny, tiny. Oh, bottle. it's perfect. I love it. Oh. I found a little one like that before as well, but it was broken a little bit on the top. Tiniest little perfume bottle. Love it. There's another, there's another mineral bottle. We've, and look, a cream pot. What have you found? You just found something. Yeah, Elements Embrocation. Oh, Elements Embrocation. That sounds like something out of a Victorian <laughs> potion chemist shop, doesn't it? Sounds very Dickensian. It does very quack, it probably is total quack medicine. Oh. Right at the bottom layer, so it's very wet indeed. And very muddy. Wet and muddy. <laughs> Quite heavy. Oh yeah, that is, <laughs> that looks very wet. I kind of wish I'd worn my wellies now. Let's have a look down there. Oh, that's quite deep. Oh! Oh! Timing. Something's stuck on the end. Yeah. What is it? Let's have a look. Cool. It's, uh, oh, it's a meat paste, but it's got like, um, it's got like wood bark effect on it. You get some funny ones here. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. I've never seen one like that. Oh, there's a shoe. It's a shoe. You just been flying, yeah. Oh. It's just the sole. Yeah, that's quite interesting. I'll put it over here for you. That, I thought you might be interesting. I don't know. This is a funny looking bottle. Look at that. It's got something on the bottom. It says... I don't know what it says. Something France. And that's a ground top. So it's had some sort of top on there. Oh, I wonder what it is. Keep it. We just picked this up right next to where Willie is digging. So we pinched it off him. It's a tiny Look, little, it's mini. tiny little perfume bottle. Wait, there. It's still got its lid on. It's still got its little, it's like baker a little baker lid. lid. That's so cute. I love that. It's got something on the bottom, so we'll have to look it up later. Yeah. You can just imagine this in someone's glasses. 
Someone's Victorian round glasses. Okay, so we're here with Willie from Dirty Secrets of Scotland. He is up there digging a hole somewhere. <laughs> but we have been busy digging a hole here. Now this is Willie's permission, so we do have permission to dig here today. Um, and we've already got a find down here, so let's bring you down and show you. So it's just been in the on the surface, kind of. Just under the surface, but looks like maybe like a cream pot or something. Oh, no. wait. It's oh, it's a not. ginger jar. It's, yeah, it's a ginger jar. We've never found oh. a ginger jar before. That is so cool. Okay, so that's the first ginger jar we've ever found. But it's right on the surface. And it's just under the surface. So Isn't gonna, that beautiful? We're going to have to be careful digging. Yeah. <laughs> it's right here. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, brown Betty. Oh, brown Betty. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, what's that? Oh, oh, what is it? Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! <gasps> it's got writing on it. <sighs> oh my yeah. god! Oh no, it's the other way around. Oh my god! <gasps> what does it say? It says the best A P E N a penta. Natural appentant water. Oh a my god. Appentant. I don't Wait, know what that means. It's a cut glass. <laughs> I am so happy with that. <laughs> yeah, Alex pulled this out. Well, it's right in front of both of us, really. I thought it was the bottom of, like, the bro yeah. broken bottom of a bottle. I mean, and it too. turned out to be this amazing paperweight. It's like a bubble. It's beautiful. Oh, I absolutely that is love it. Class. That's the best find of the day so far. I love it. Hundred percent. I like to find uh, something here. Oh, I think it might just be like a little ink. Yeah, it's another hey, one. Another ink. Inky I'll thing. still take it because I like these. I like these little links. I love them. Okay, so we looks like we looks like <laughs> it looks like we've got a jar and a bit of pottery here. Don't know if that's whole, but it looks like a little cream jar. And if it is, does it have any? writing on it. <gasps> yes it does! Yes! yes. Oh. oh brilliant! Wow. Oh brilliant! Oh, it's got a little oh, crack yes. in it but who cares? Oh yes, what does it say? Look it's full. What does it say? Read it out. It says done ragged preserved cream. Done ragged. Done ragged. Oh, didn't Willie find one of those? Yes, I think he did. I'm pretty sure he's found some of those. Done ragged. Oh, brilliant. Wow. Yes. Yeah. That is gorgeous. <laughs> Our first pictorial bottle or jar of the day. Okay, so we've come across a stoneware bottle here. Yes. I think it's whole. It's, is just, it be it's whole? like the one you found before. It's like yeah. the mineral water. I think they're German, but let's see. If it has, is it whole? Is it whole? It feels like it is. Yes. Oh yes, my goodness! It is. It is. It is. Oh wow! Oh. Yes. Look, it's exactly Let the same. 
Oh yeah. It's the same it's as like that one I pulled out before. It's exactly the same. Oh my goodness. I wonder why there's so many of those around. I know, this is like, I don't know how many of these we've found now. I absolutely love them. They're amazing, I love them. <laughs> I hope we found some more. I feel it's like there's something in there. It's probably the cork or something. Wow, let's find some, let's find another one. Okay, so I've been looking around out here because there's still lots of bits and bobs on the ground but I've heard shouting from over here. Come on. There we go, <laughs> what have we got? What is it now? I found another one. Another one of, oh my goodness, another one. Another one. <laughs> wow. Oh, please be whole. It's another one of those mineral bottles. This is like a, I don't know, like seventh one or something. Oh wow. Something else there. Pull it, it's alright. It's coming. Is it whole? Is it whole? Is it whole or no? Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. oh, oh there's it. Is it another whole one? Another oh my one. goodness. Oh, I think, is he. I can't remember whether these are Dutch or German. I think it might be German. And I'm pretty sure it's some kind of like mineral water bottle. The German kind. They've all got different numbers on. I, I think these numbers mean something. Like the pottery or the potter's number or the year or something. I don't know. Oh my goodness. Look. Two over here. So far. Okay. So here's everything Willie has found. And he's found an absolutely massive amount of stuff. But down here, he's got his favourite bits and bobs, and these are, these are your the best jewels. friends. Yeah, an amber blob top. Wow. Which is C, what was that? G and P Barry, Glasgow and Dundee, and another blob top from Kirkcaldy, which is my hometown, Kirkcaldy Lady Bank in Dunfermline, Robert wow. Douglas. Two they belters. are beauties. Wow, well done. Thank you very much. Look at this cute little bottle yeah, here. It's teensy tiny, I love that. What colour is it? I don't know, it's got a number on the bottom. I think it might just be clear. We also found this old Victorian key. Oh, I love that. Isn't that cool? Fantastic. This has got to be the most impressive piece of festivals <sighs> we've ever seen. Okay, so this is German stoneware, but look at the pictorial on it. It is incredible. Yeah, look at these knights and people. And their faces look. Yes, look. Fantastic. Yeah, they're knights with armour. There's, there's one, a barrel someone there. sitting on a barrel yeah. and like there's a sword there. Someone on their knees down here. Yeah, and, and it's stoneware. Someone with a hand on someone else's shoulder. And it's a part of a huge platter, isn't it? Yeah, that must have been amazing. Imagine. Oh god. I mean, oh gosh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, so we're thinking maybe we could cut out the yeah, bit smooth the edges a bit in and the make middle. some sort of plaque. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Have it on display or something. Because that is impressive. It's very heavy. It's a huge chunk of clay. Brilliant. <laughs> and here's a lovely little stoneware pot. Lovely little ink. Either an ink or a glue or... Something, something like, like that. that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's great. I love it. You can turn it into a candlestick holder. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, we've literally just sat down to eat lunch and Mum's found the most amazing little thing. Look at this. Can you guess what it is? It's a tiny, like a miniature. Look at it compared to my, my index finger. It's a tiny it little thimble. It fit on a baby's finger. I it's know. Tiny. It's like a baby's thimble. But of course, baby wouldn't need a thimble, would it? So it must be like for a doll. Or a tiny child. Like a, a, really a really small young child. child or something. Learning to sew. Could be. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's so pretty. I love it. That's beautiful. Yeah, me too. We just sat down to eat our lunch. So <laughs> that's brilliant. And down here, we've got a collection of things. We've just been searching around and... Here's a few of the things we've just found. So we've got a giant jar lid. It has some embossing on it. There's a little brass button. 
Um, this little bottle that has something on it. Heinz, I think. So I'm not sure what that is. And the little bottle here, what's that got on it? I think it's some kind of meat juice, isn't it? Meat oh juice. yeah, it does say oh, it. Yeah, meat, juice. meat juice. We've never found a whole one of these before, so that's really cool. And a little, um, like, miniature liquor bottle. Yeah, we've got a collection see. of those, haven't we? Yeah. And this is a six, or it could be a nine. Or is it a nine? Maybe, we'll never know. Is it a six or is it a nine? <sighs> And a couple of little swing top stoppers here. Yeah. Look. They're always fun to find. And doll face parts. Oh yeah, of course. We've got an eyebrow and an ear. You can't have too many eyebrows, I keep saying. Yeah. Oh yeah. Have you even been to a bottle dump if you've never found a doll's ear? That's the question. No. <laughs> and um, finally... This. So, um, I think Willie said that this might have been a bird feeder, like it yeah. would have had a little dish down here. But if you look at the top, it has an anchor, whoop, an anchor, a cross and a heart. And I'm pretty sure that stands for faith, the cross, a hope is the anchor and love is the heart. How cool. So isn't that lovely? I think it says made in Germany on the yeah. back as well. So there's a, a few fun little things we've found and we're gonna have another quick look around before we go. Okay, so I'm just walking past. We're having a bit of a walk around just before we go. Can you see? I don't think you quite can on the camera. The beautiful shine. That. I don't know what it is. I think it might be a button. Mother of Pearl. So many pretty colours in it. Actually, I don't. Oh my goodness. I think that's silver. What is it? Oh look, there's a pin. It's a little silver brooch with mother of pearl kind of like inlaid into it. I'm pretty sure that's silver. Actually, it's a little bit shiny on that edge where I rubbed it. Oh wow, there we go. A little silver and mother of pearl brooch and see if that has a hallmark and it'll be able to give us a date. Okay, so we've had an amazing day at the bottle dump with Willie from Dirty Secrets of Scotland and we really want you now to go and subscribe to his channel. He really needs to hit that 1,000 subscriber mark so he can release his amazing video um, and song Single. Single, rather, <laughs> which we're going to play you a clip of at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Um, so thank you very much to Willie because we've had an amazing day yeah, and we found thanks, some incredible Willie. things. So uh, yeah, that's it and we'll see you again next time. Bye! Bye. So here it is, our absolutely enormous haul wow. of treasures. I know, it's incredible. <laughs> we had the best time. I think this is the biggest haul we have ever found. Yeah, in one and this, day. There's even more on the floor down here. <laughs> so, uh, so we can't possibly talk about everything that's here because that would just be ridiculous. So what we're going to do is take some of this stuff away, or most of this stuff away, and then talk about our most bestest finds, Yeah, I think. Are you so, ready? So, let's take it all away. Okay, so here they are. That looks a little bit more manageable now. This is an unusual collection of things right here. This is a beautiful little piece of Scottish agate that we think is from jewellery. That's really, really yeah, beautiful. Yeah, gorgeous, isn't it? Hopefully we can make that into something. 
And on the jewellery theme, we also found this. And this is Mother of Pearl. I think it had something um, on the front there, some metal thing, maybe in someone's name. But around the edge, I give it a, a light clean up and it says just on the edge there, silver rim. So the rim of this brooch is silver. But the pin came off when I tried to wash it, unfortunately. Yeah, and this is the massive button that I found. Um, it's just a big glass... Um, well, it's a big glass coat button. Now these rings um, are either off the end of bone cotton reels or they could be the interior of a padded button to keep it firm. So it's one of those two things. Yeah. I think some of the bigger ones were off the off the dangerous baby feeding bottles as well. Oh yeah, they could have been off those as well. But anyway, yeah, they could be a number of things. It's hard to say. Probably the biggest bead we've found. That is so <sighs> beautiful. Look at the colour of that. That is really gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. That's love glass. It. Wouldn't we think it's it's probably less likely to be off jewellery and yeah. more likely to be off some kind of furniture. Lampshade or um, curtain, even or or a lamp of some sort. Yeah, some we think it's off something like that, and it had wire through it because it's still rusted in there, unfortunately. This we think is actually a tiny miniature bottle. Unfortunately, the top is broken off. Yeah, but it's the way so it's cute. It's flat on the bottom and actually stands up like a bottle. I thought it might be a light bulb, but it just looks so much like a bottle, doesn't it? Maybe it is. We could grind the top off. Yeah. Make it back into a bottle. We've got our favourite clay marbles and a cod marble here. And then there's this thing. Oops. Oh, off they there go. go. the marbles. <laughs> there's this off thing. We think it's probably off a chandelier or um, a yeah. lamp dangled yeah. around the edge of yeah. a lamp. But Willie actually gave us this. And we're going to make a Christmas decoration with it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so that'll watch out for that on our tree at around Christmas time. <laughs> it's quite an unusual bit of metal. And the other metal thing, which I didn't know what it was at the time, but I just picked it up because it was a nice big chunk of, of uh, brass that we can use. But on the side here, it says three, four, three, three over four. Which, yeah, three quarters. Okay, so it actually says 53, there's a crown on there, an F, and it says J, M and S Limited. So, Mum actually pointed out that this is a barrel tap. Okay, so this went into another metal bit. One side would have been the spout, um, and the other side would have gone into the barrel, or the flat bit here to hammer it into the barrel. And this, of course, you turn it to turn it on, turn it a quarter to turn it off. I think that's why it says three quarters on yeah, there. Yeah, because sure. you just turn it. Yeah. Well, you turn it one quarter, don't one you? One quarter, yeah. So I'm not sure what that means. Anyway, yeah, it's a pub barrel tap. And that's quite cool because I don't think we've ever found anything no. like that before. Okay, and then moving on, we've got some toy themed objects here, which we always like to find. There's this little Cupid doll like figure. This is a, yeah. a children's toy. And it looks more like a boy and he's, it looks like a bit of a sailor suit top and he's got, it looks like the George Cross. Yeah, so we're he's not got sure. a little medal on him. We're not sure what that's all about. Oh, and unusually, look, he's smiling. Unless it's the Iron Cross, uh, German, <laughs> made in Germany. Oh yeah, that might so... be why it was thrown out. <laughs> 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 but yeah, look at his little smile, how cute's that? I think it actually might be Japanese. It could very much be Japanese. It's like a male version of a Cupid doll. So, yeah. Unfortunately, the legs are gone and the arms are long gone as well. Yeah, but his face is there. Yeah. And then we've got, oh, we've got our little porcelain. We think, Mum found this, I think it's a sugar bowl. Yeah. How cute's that? We've never found a sugar no. bowl before. And a little doll's teacup. That's cute. Which is always a lovely find. And finally, probably one of my favourite finds <laughs> of the day, is this Chinese man's head. <laughs> How wonderful is he? And it would have been of a nodding figurine, and underneath there would have been a big, like, porcelain weight, which was inside the body part. Yeah. It probably kept on top of a piano so that when it vibrated, his head nodded. 
So we'll put up a picture of what yeah. he would have looked like with his body. But for the meantime, he's just got this incredibly long neck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he would have. You can see where the pin went through yeah. on the side of his neck, and it would have kind of nodded like that. But, but how unusual! We've never found anything like that. No, before. this is. I think this is probably one of my favourite yeah. ever heads. It's just I love him. And it's so detailed. He's wonderful, and it's German, isn't it? I think you said it yeah, was. There, it's, it's made German. in Germany. Aren't they all? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and then what else have we got oh, down got here? Sort of oh, this is an amazing find. I love, absolutely love this little thing. A little child's thimble. This tiny, teeny, teeny, And I wasn't tiny. even looking for anything when I found this. We just sat down to eat our lunch and it just caught my eye and I picked it up and I'm like, that can't be a thimble, can it? It doesn't even fit on my pinky finger. It's so tiny. Yeah. Look. So tiny. <laughs> Must have been for like a four-year-old. Yeah, a learning, really, so. really small child. Yeah, just learning. But that's so gorgeous. I absolutely love that. Isn't it? Okay, so some unusual finds down here. This is a bit of a bucket list find. A glass paperweight is something that we've really wanted to find for a while now. And it says, the best apenta natural apparent water and Mum's going to tell us a little bit about this. A penta aperient water was Hungarian mineral water. Aperient being another word for laxative, it was recommended to drink a glassful before breakfast every day to avoid constipation, disorders of the liver and prevent fat deposits in the body. And also recommended for pregnant women and those experiencing female diseases. Female diseases. <laughs> 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 so there you are. Um, fantastic water. A miracle water. And this is just, the object itself is absolutely beautiful. We love yeah. it. We've never found a paperweight before. And it's just, it yeah. actually, it would have had a scene behind it, wouldn't it? Yes, we have a picture of that. It would have had a piece of cardboard glued to the back with a picture of a pub on it so I think it was actually sold in pubs as a mixer for um, scotch whiskey as well oh that makes sense yeah. all of a sudden it starts to make sense yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no but that's just the most beautiful thing and yeah we're very happy that we found it yeah okay this is an unusual item it's some kind of brush it's a toothbrush apparently yeah. So I have a picture of it with other toothbrushes. Um, but I would not want to brush my teeth with that, to be honest. Well, look that how wide the head is compared to my thumb. Yeah. Like, I don't even think most people would even be able to brush their teeth properly with such a big brush. Yeah. My son thinks it's a moustache brush. Oh, yes, yeah. Will thinks it's a moustache brush. But, but it's yeah, unusual. It's a brush. <laughs> and I like it. It's made out of bone, of course. It so, does yeah. have writing on it, but it's all being obliterated. It... All we can read is Anna and Made In, and yeah. the rest you can't read. Mm -hmm. so. Unfortunately. But yeah, an, an unusual find, and we really like that. Yeah. Okay, okay moving on. Um, we have the most amazing piece of Vestavolt here. Yeah, and it's just massive. It's crazy. Look at the thickness of that clay. But we love it. This is just, yeah, we're going to cut this out and hopefully make something with it. And Vestervold is, of course, German stoneware, which has been going for centuries, but this piece dates from around the turn of the 19th and 20th century. And the details in this beautiful. We'll actually put a picture on the screen of what this would have looked like whole. It would yeah, be an, it's um, quite enormous, actually. Yeah. This is just a small fraction of it. It would have been a very impressive plate, indeed. But anyway, we're hoping to be able to do something with that as well. Okay, and this is probably my favourite teapot lid that I've ever found. I think it's a teapot lid because it has a hole in it for yeah. the steam to pass through. But on top, there's a little dog. And Isn't I just think cute? that's wonderful. It's so cute. I've never seen anything like that. And dog I just, I cat? love it. Yeah, I'm not sure actually. It's not got a lot of detail in no. it. But it's a lovely little thing. Isn't it gorgeous? And this little... I thought it was a teacup, but it's not so, a teacup, is it? It's called a coffee can. Would have uh, served strong coffee. And on the bottom, it has some information. Yeah. And it is J. Green's Nephew Limited, London, Kelso. 
um, the company still exists and it was established in 1737 and they're a family-run business providing catering supplies to bars, restaurants and banqueting facilities in and around London. But back in the day, they were doing the same thing, only supplying things all over the country and that was um, probably supplied to a local hotel for serving coffee. Oh, I see. Okay, so we're going to start moving on to our bottles now. We've got this tiny little one that we found right on the edge of the hole Willie was digging. And it has a registration mark on the bottom, which gives us the exact date. Yeah, and that gives us the date for 1932. So that's really cool. Little vintage perfume bottle. Still with its um, Bakelite stopper. Yeah. Um, uh, this is a first for us. Another first... Another bucket list. We've got lots of bucket listers here. Yeah. But this is a boat ink, and we've never found a whole boat ink. No. And it doesn't really look like a boat to me, but... No, I don't know why it's called a boat ink, because it looks nothing like a boat. It looks more mind. like a little house. Yeah, it does. It looks more like a cottage, but a cottage ink is a different kind yeah. of shape of ink yeah. bottle. But, yeah, it's called a boat ink. But, yeah, and it's, it's got lovely. a burst <laughs> bubble in the neck, which still has remnants of the ink in it. Yeah. How cute is that? Yeah. So that'll go in our ink bottle collection. Uh, we've got a poison bottle, of course. Lovely you know how green. everyone, every, all mudlarks love their poison bottles. Um, oh, this meat juice. We've never found one of these meat juice bottles. Valentine's meat juice. Sounds lovely, doesn't it? Mm. But it has a little bit of a grim history. Ooh. So... Valentine's meat juice was created in the 1870s and was more of a quack medicine, really, than a food supplement. And um, it claimed that it was beneficial to invalids because it replaced all the nutrients um, needed, but it led to many sick people becoming malnourished and even dying of starvation. Oh, in the 1880s, Florence Maybrick was convicted of the murder of her husband and sentenced to be hanged. Traces of arsenic had been found in his body. These, however, were later proved to have come from the quack medicines, etc., that he'd been known to take, which contained arsenic. Eventually, it was concluded that Mr. Maybrick had died of starvation due to being fed a diet of Valentine's meat juice. So Mrs. Maybrick walked free after spending 15 years in prison. So, oh, wow. Um, yeah. Poor lady. <laughs> <laughs> it was very hazardous living back in the day. Yeah. I mean, you didn't do it back then, but, uh, you know, nowadays you would totally sue the company, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's actually got the cork in there still. Yeah. Some lovely stories to go with these bottles. The oh, next yeah. one... It's a Grimm. It's, it's another, another Grimm one. It's another story. <laughs> We're just churning out the Grimm stories today. So... This is Atkinson and Baker's Royal Infants Preservative. And it had been around since the 18th century. It contained enough laudanum that six drops could and did kill a sick baby. Oh or my sick goodness. Babies. In 1876, a flyer for the quack cure was sent out with children's smallpox vaccination papers after someone in the company had done a dodgy deal with the Board of Guardians. So... Innocent people unknowingly were getting these flyers um, with their vaccination papers thinking, you know, that endorsed this mm. medicine, um, yeah. you know, as being safe. Of course it wasn't, and it was causing a lot of um, deaths in infants. Yeah, so Atkinson and Baker has a lot of blood on their hands as company. And incredibly, once again, this was sold right through to the early 20th century. That's incredible. So that's that's like 100 years. Yeah. Well, or more. 200 years. Yeah, 200 years, actually. 200 years. And I wonder how many babies actually died from consuming this over yeah. 200 years. Yeah, so this is actually very similar to the Mrs. Winslow's soothing syrup, um, which also was responsible for the deaths of many infants. So these two products are quite similar yeah. in that sense. We've done a story about Mrs. Winslow's soothing syrup in another video. Yeah, we have, if you want to check that story out as well. But both so tragic and completely yeah. unnecessary. Just and terrible. But, yeah, uh, it yeah, is. Where there's money involved. Exactly. Okay, and this bottle is really pretty. Yes, and it's a French bottle from a French uh, perfumers, actually. And it's um, Parfum Houbigan Paris. 
excuse my French, um, and they were a French perfume house established in Paris in 1775 um, by Jean Francois Houbigon. In yeah, and he and that they made perfumes, but that actually contained talcum powder, and it would have had a metal lid on the top that flipped open so you could get your powder out. Yeah, it was probably scented. Yeah, I imagine yeah. it's probably some kind of posh Very scented. scented French powder. We found a few French perfume related things, so it's more is... like the French. Perfume. Yeah. Uh -huh. And this is beautiful, actually. The glass is really thin and delicate. Yeah. And it's a really interesting shape. We've not found no. a bottle like that before. It really caught my eye. It's yeah. Unusual. It's really beautiful. You can see how it's been ground down on the top there, where the metal cap would have yeah, been. Yeah. Yeah, I'm moving on to our other French perfume bottle over here. Of course, the yeah. French are known for their perfume, aren't they? Another French. This would have been full of perfume. Imagine. Wow. would be amazing. So that says E. D. Pinot Paris. And um, that was their logo, the basket of, of fruit. Yeah, there. That's really pretty. Got flowers and things in it. Yeah. I'd love that full of perfume. Look at oh, it. Oh, yes. It's a really beautiful bottle. It has actually has a tooled lip up here. Yeah. You can see the twist on the neck yeah. where the, the bottle would have been, the top would have been tooled. Yeah, it sort of twisted the glass while it was still soft. Yeah, you can see that on the neck, which is really interesting. So another beautiful bottle there. Okay, we didn't film this one actually, unfortunately, but mum found this and it's the most beautiful blob top. You can see the blobby top there. It's a blob top and screw top. Yeah, it's an internal screw which would have had a vulcanite stopper in it. And the pictorial on here is a Scotsman and he looks like he's holding a flag. He's, <laughs> he's wearing a kilt and he's got his Tam and Shanta hat on. Yeah. And yeah, it's, it's really quirky. It's really crudely done. It's so funny. It's lovely. It is. He's got no face. He's just faceless look. He's just blobby. Hendry Limited, Edinburgh, and then it says Standard Aerated Water Works. So that's really beautiful. That's a really yes. cool bottle. I love that one. It's a brilliant find. It's a shame we didn't get it on camera. Okay, so here are some of my favourite finds from this adventure. And it's these absolutely beautiful stoneware bottles. Yeah, they're gorgeous, aren't they? You know how we love stoneware, and they these are just... Them. They're just aesthetically beautiful. The colour, um, they were handmade, of course, and you can see thumbprints on some of them as well. I think this, yeah. This one's got some, there, look, fingerprints. Oh, yeah, there, you can just about see it. From the potter, yeah, who would have made these? And these are German stoneware, salt glazed stoneware. And salt glaze literally just means when they were being fired in the kiln, they used to chuck in salt, just ordinary salt, and it would, um, you know, science yeah. would happen. Mm -hmm. And then it would uh, make this glaze. So, um, yeah, we don't know uh, some things about these bottles. Like, we don't know what these numbers mean. And, and the letters, some of them have different letters on. Yeah, the letters and the numbers, um, yeah, we're not sure, unfortunately. We've got a, a couple of I's, a K and a G. Yeah. So if anyone knows what they mean, we'd like to know. Um, and then we don't know what this is. It looks like the number four and an anchor. It's obviously their logo, <clears throat> but we don't know the significance significance behind it yeah unfortunately but i think this might have something to do with the pottery or the potter or the batch number i, I can't remember so if you know let us know but these bottles are apollinaris german mineral spring water bottles and the spring was discovered by chance in 1852 in georg kreutzberg's vineyard and he named the spring after saint apollinaris of ravina i think that's how you say it um, the patron saint of wine, of course, because he had a vineyard. Ah, oh, right. So that makes sense. Apollinaris spring water is highly aerated natural spring water. And the spring was acquired by George Murray Smith, who partnered with Edward Steinkoff of Frankfurt in 1873 to establish a British company with worldwide distribution rights. Queen Victoria used Apollinaris as a mixer for Scotch whisky and claret, 
and in 1895 over 19.5 million bottles were sold. And the company's now owned by Coca-Cola. Okay, and our final three finds here, we've got two cream pots and a ginger jar. So a ginger jar was on our bucket list and here How it is. How amazing is that? It's very crazed, but that adds to it, I think. Yeah, look at that. It's gorgeous. It's got quite a shiny glaze on there. It's so cool. Some drips. And it's got a beautiful shape to it. Yeah. See, these are classic ginger jar shapes. Absolutely gorgeous. Not much else to say about it, really, but it's a fantastic find. And as for our cream pots, we've got this plain one here. I like it though, it's lovely. I know, it's very pretty, but Once what's... Again, yeah, what's interesting about this is the fingerprints. So we've got a bigger fingerprint here, but down here, if you look closely, there is a tiny, tiny little fingerprint. And there's some more on the other side. And we think this is probably the fingerprint of a child. Yeah, because it it up. Because lots of young children worked in potteries, moving pieces from one place to another. And it was probably upside down and the child picked it up for it to be moved on probably to the drying room. And it's let, they've left their little tiny fingerprint in there. Oh. Yeah, and then we've got the, the print of the potter, the bigger one here, looks like a thumbprint. But um, it's so special when you have those little fingerprints in yeah, there. Yeah, it really takes you back in history, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a direct connection to the person and the people who made these. Okay, and our second cream jar down here is this beautiful transfer pictorial. And it says... I think it's pronounced Dunragget. It could be Dunragget, so excuse my pronunciation if it's wrong. But it's preserved cream and at the bottom it says this cream contains a small proportion of boron preservative to keep it sweet and wholesome. Fresh cream without preservative is recommended for children and invalids. So at this additive was actually quite dangerous and yeah. they are actually mm -hmm. saying don't give it to children or invalids, so um, if I was just a normal person, I would be shying away from that. Well, nobody should have been having it because it was no. deadly. And if you drank a lot of cream, you had a lot of cream, it would actually eventually kill you, which is terrible. <laughs> it's but terrible. it's a beautiful little jar, nonetheless, and it'll go with our little um, pictorial cream jar collection that we've yeah, got. Yeah, definitely. So a huge thank you to everyone for watching this video, for liking this video, for commenting. We love all your comments and thank you so much for your subscriptions as well. And finally, a big thank you to everyone who's purchased from our Amazon wishlist and a big thank you to all of our patrons for your support and your kindness. And we'd also like to thank Willie for taking us to his wonderful location in those beautiful woods and we found yeah. so many amazing treasures with Willie. So thank you Willie so much. And also we'd like to say hello to Susan Scott and that's Willie's mum who's home now recovering yeah. from COVID. And uh, so hello. hello to Susan and thank you so much for watching our channel. Okay, so all we want you to do now is to go and subscribe to Willie's channel, Dirty Secrets of Scotland. Um, we did ask you originally to help him reach 1K subscribers, but you surpassed that for him in no That's time. Done it. So that is absolutely wonderful. So thank you everyone thank who you. already yeah. has been to go and subscribe. But if you haven't already subscribed to Willie's channel, go and do it now. We'll leave a link to his channel down in the description. Um, he's got some great content. His video a collaboration with us is already Already out there and you can also go to his channel to watch his single video which is fantastic it is really fantastic so you have to go and watch that right now it's really good and oh yeah make sure you comment uh, leave a comment and say that we sent you as well so um, on that note we'll say goodbye and we'll see you again next week bye maybe he's born with it maybe it's mod locking <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs>
of Scotland. Hi, I'm Willie from Dirty Secrets of Scotland and we've got a single coming out to celebrate getting a thousand subscribers which we haven't got yet but we hope to have soon and it should be out on um, the 23rd of July for pre-release and then the 20th of August for the official release so you can buy it you know, up to a month before in advance or you can just download it for nothing when it comes out on Spotify etc. Thanks very much to Northern Muddle Arts for letting me put this on their channel.